Let's demonstrate this Max for Live device using the official Live Bubbleton demo. I will just drag and drop the device to the master track, press start, play your music, and generate visuals. Change some presets. Yeah, so this is my new stars map Max for Light device. I created that for people that just want to create visuals easily, just drag and drop, play, just change some parameters. So if you are interested, I will explain how it works and then a section of this video. Let's explain how to install the star maps max for life device as you can see i can see the max for life device here in my max for life audio effects so where should i place this file the device so it can be visible as any other max for life device but i will explain how to do it you go to your account in your computer then you will look for music folder. Then you go to Ableton, user library, presets, audio effects, max audio effects. And this is where you should place your device. Okay. Once you place the device there, remember the device is a file that has A, M, X, D. This is the type of the of file, the file type. Once it is located there, now it's going to be visible. And then you go to Max for Live in here. You go to the folder Max Audio Effects, and then you will locate the Storage Map device. Other option is just go to max for life and type in here in the browser star map and you will locate it there well my recommendation is just place this if you have many tracks place this as a plugin as any other plugin on your master track right at least you want to visualize make visible one of the instruments that you are using i only have this demonstration uh, this is a complete uh, songs that, or pieces of music that I, it's the master tracks of my music, right? So I will place it on the master track. So let's see uh, how many sections this device has and how to, how to use it. Let's put something more soft. like this music okay so here you have some parameters related to, to the um, to the shape position and scale so you can move it over the x y and z axis left then up and down x and backwards forward remember zero is your center position then you have this section here is from the rendering staff this is for starting the device rendering if you press this it's gonna stop okay this is full screen in case you want to do a concert if you want to do a concert and showing this then you will place this 
the projector and then you go full screen. Get out from the full screen by pressing escape. Okay, now this is the reactivity part. If you have a preset like uh, this one, for example, let's put something more noisy. So here I I turn on the let's turn on the um, the turn button, and then you can play with the acceleration. See. This is really accelerated. Okay, if you want to stop, just put the acceleration all the way down in here. The reactive button in here, it's in case you want to make react this parameter, which is shape scale. So this is in case you want to do something really like, like this, for example. Okay, enough, because this is pretty <laughs> noisy. Okay. Now here you have parameters related with drawing. So let's see. Let's put a music which is <laughs> a little bit less noisy. For example, this electroacoustic piano. Oh, thank you. No, okay. So this is if you want to use a shader which is it is going to give you a kind of final look for the shape so you should select shader if you don't want that look you st stop using the shader and you will have a look which is like that not shades okay uh however you can turn the lighting on and it's gonna give you kind of shades, but it's not the same as using the shader. Let's try it with this, uh, for example, this preset, which is preset number four. I am using the shader here, but if I stop using the shader, it's gonna, it's gonna look like that. And this is not shader, but I turn the lights on and I was looking like that with the shader it, it it's a slight difference it it's uh it's kind of more brighty look see kind of more realistic look so now it's interesting here let's uh let's play more so we can have more images in here so this is the point size and the point style. Okay, let's turn to points and let's explain this. You can control the size of the points with this control, with this knob. So if you go zero, you got like pretty, pretty small points. Like Then uh, it's very interesting that you can have this look which is circle depth or just circles. When you go circle, all the, the points have the same size. When you go circle depth, the points which are more, uh, which are closer to you, to you are going to look more, they're going to look bigger. You can change the look of the points like making them squared look now i have squares and square depth and points which are far away from from the viewer look smaller then it's the same applies for the lines i mean you can change the width of the lines look with this control in here can go really crazy and the things like that. Then, besides points and lines, you can combine lines and points and points and lines. It's pretty similar. Points, lines or lines, points. It's very subtle. So my points here are square and my lines really tiny. See? 
And if I change that to points, you will see that. And I change that to circle depth. Same. So this is for for the look of the shape. And then you have a section here called presets. So you can load presets that I already did for you. Oh yeah, I forgot about the look of the uh, shape. Here the, uh, in preset number four, you are seeing this, this kind of uh, asteroid look. So this is the drawing mode called uh, polygon. Yeah, if you select polygon, then you will see this and this is another drawing mode. Okay, then you can, as I said before, you can load the presets or you can create your own presets. Let's create a preset and explain how you can store it. So let's do an original preset. Let's say, for example, that you want to to do these kind of bubbles in here. Let's stop this uh, turning. And then let's approach this. Let's say this is the preset I want to I want to store, right? Let's give it play here. So you go to an empty slot of presets because if you do it in a one in one that is already uh, recorded, you will delete that preset, right? So go to an empty slot, for example, 15. And once you're there, you will press Command Shift and press the slot. Let's see. Command Shift, Command Shift, and press. Now I recorded preset 15. It is going to be recorded for this performance, right? But if I want to record that and to be available the next time I open the device, then I will press right. And when I press right, this star map file is going to be created. My recommendation is to place this file in the same location you put your device, which is where you uh, in the Max for Live devices. Uh, let's see. Um, remember, once you play, you will place it there. You won't have to do this all the time. So remember, use your library, presets, audio effects, max audio effect. And voila, you will place that in here. Save. OK. In case you don't uh, locate the presets, that this is empty. Uh, shouldn't happen, at least that uh, you place the preset file in somewhere else so you can read it and look for that press read and you will uh, select the uh, file open it and then it's gonna you're gonna load okay i think this is um this is all for now thank you for watching this video and i am leaving the link to download this device in the description of this video. I am asking for a contribution for this device because it took a lot of work to produce it. So if you decide to get it, so thank you. And uh, well, see you in the next one, guys. Bye bye.